for Kennedy split to the left. Gilson and Saul to the right. McPherson going to dump it off short. Kennedy, a lot of room to run to the 15, and then gets hit and brought down on the tackle. Good open field tackle for Paris. Taylor at the 11. That's six more and a first down again for Jacksonville. He will be the motion man as McPherson from his own end zone. Throws and finds a receiver. It's Gilson at the 20. Gilson across midfield and is finally brought down in the I Valley territory at about the 20 yard line. Big first down hookup for each. Singer, actually. McPherson, another wide open receiver. It's Saul inside the 10 and down to about the 9. Cody Saul on the complete. Kennedy on the left side. The third goal from the 1. Here it is. It's Ross. And they'll stack him up. And Ross drives. Wow. And they didn't let him get in. The Steelhawks stop him and prevent the touchdown from a first and goal from the 1. Four straight plays of stacking him up. And they deny Jacksonville getting in the end zone. So we'll head to halftime. The Steelhawks trail, but they'll take a little momentum. First catch of the night for Stoshak. Here's Kennedy. Runs right into Paris. Taylor, heavy collision at about the 18-yard line. So three, 225-pound linebacker from out of Washington State is Paris Taylor. He wasn't even low. He, he's up high here. Watch this. He's, a, he's above the helmet. That's Stoshak on the catch. Stoshak will get into Steelhawk territory and pick up a first down again. Deep drop. Dumps it off short instead, and they make a miss. Tom Gilson makes a man miss and takes it all the way down inside the five. First and goal. 16 for 23 is Adrian McPherson at this point in time. They'll hand it off to Ross, and again he gets stood up. That aspect of Jacksonville's offense has been taken away by the Steelhawk defense. Ross gets back the line.